So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 3755. However, this setup video also applies to any HP DeskJet 3700 series printer. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and start setting it up. And if you're looking to buy one of these printers, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. You have the power cable, the black and tricolor cartridges, the manuals and all the other pieces of paperwork. And then let's remove this cardboard shelf on the inside. Now the easiest way to get these printers out of their boxes is to lay the box on one of its larger rectangular sides and then pull the printer out onto the table. And now you want to get rid of the foam end caps and the thin plastic film covering the printer. So the first step in the process is to plug the power cable into the back of the printer and then plug the other end into a wall outlet. Press the power button which is on the top left hand side of the printer and the printer then powers on and goes through its initial booting sequence. And once it's done with that initial booting sequence you'll notice that the power button is blinking and that's fine. And the next step is is to install the cartridges. Open this compartment on the front and you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. Now I've removed both cartridges from their outer packaging. You also want to remove this piece of protective tape on the print head by pulling on this paper with the HP logo. Do that for both cartridges. And then let's start with the tricolor cartridge. Insert it into the cartridge tray with the electrical contacts facing inwards and push it in to lock it into place. And let's do the same with the black cartridge. Again, with the electrical contacts and the print head facing inwards, insert it into the tray and push it all the way in until it locks into place. Now you can close this compartment and once you've done this you'll notice that the power button is not blinking anymore. Next let's load some paper in the printer. To do that pull the paper tray upwards and then slant it backwards and then I'm going to insert some letter sized paper into the paper tray. Pull this flap forward and then slide the adjustable paper guide all the way to the left then insert your paper into the paper tray and slide your paper guide slightly inwards to match the size of your paper. Now, as with a lot of more recent HP printers, the DeskJet 3755 does not have many controls on the front and there's very little setup that you can do on the printer itself. So we're gonna to have to jump onto a Windows computer, a Mac or a phone or mobile device to complete the setup. So let's go ahead and do that. So to begin setting it up, on a Windows computer, click on your start button and then in the search bar on the bottom, search for the word store and you'll notice in your search results, it shows the Microsoft Store app. Click on that and once that opens up, you want to search for HP Smart, hit enter. And the first thing in the search results should be the HP Smart app, click on that. And then you wanna click install to begin installing the app. And this will probably take a few minutes. And once it's done installing the app, click launch to open it up. And on the first page, it asks you to agree to the terms and conditions, click continue. And then it wants to know if you'd like to help make HP Smart better. This is entirely up to you. This doesn't impact your experience in any way. It's purely optional. I'm going to click no for now. It then takes you to another page which asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer or sign in. I'm just going to click skip for now and do that from the app's home page. Now something to remember is that in order to use this printer you need to be connected to your 2.4 gigahertz network on your router. Usually if you're connected to a dual band router like I am you'll have the option of connecting to either network, the 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz network. To connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network, click on the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then find your 2.4 gigahertz network, which should be named very similar to your 5 gigahertz network. Click on that, click connect. And if you haven't already entered your password, it'll probably ask you for your password. Enter your password and wait till it connects. Now this is kind of stupid to be honest because in this day and age printers should be able to connect to both networks but I guess HP just chose to give it a 2.4 gigahertz radio so you can only connect to that one network. 
Let's jump back into the HP Smart app. And as soon as the app's home page comes up, you'll have an option to add a printer. You'll notice a large button in the center of the screen. Click Add Printer. And then it searches for all the nearby HP printers. And you'll notice that the HP DeskJet 3700 series appears on the list. Click Set Up right beneath the title of the printer. And then it says Time to Connect, Set Up and Manage Your HP Printer. Click Continue. Then it asks you whether you'd like to access the Wi-Fi password for your current Wi-Fi network. Now I prefer not to do this because this can be glitchy at times. So click no thanks and then enter your Wi-Fi password manually, then click connect. And after it goes through that initial setup process, it lets you know that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Click continue. And then on the next screen, click continue again. And on the screen that follows, it asks you to register your product by signing into or creating an HP account. Now I already have an HP account, but you can always create one if you'd like to. So click sign in. And once you've signed into your HP account, it says that it is transferring information. And on the screen that follows, it lets you know about HP Instant Ink, which is their ink subscription service. Click continue. And on the next screen, it again tries its best to get you to sign up for an HP Instant Ink plan. This is entirely up to you. In my case, I'm just gonna click no instant ink and then click continue. And it asks you whether you're sure. And yes, I'm very sure. So I'm gonna click no, I don't want instant ink. And then it asks you a few survey questions. It asks you where the printer will be used. And then you have to select the option that's relevant to you. And then it also wants your zip code or postal code enter that and on the following screen it lets you know that you can also install this printer to other devices and it can actually send you a link to download the app or software now i'm going to skip this because i'll actually be walking you through installing this printer on other devices so click skip sending link and then if you'd like you can always print a test page or you can skip this process altogether however if you've gotten this far i really recommend clicking the print test page option to actually see if your printer works. So click on that. And once you're done with that, it brings you back to the home page where you can actually see that your printer is now visible, the HP DeskJet 3700 series. And this pretty much completes the installation of the printer on a Windows device. So your printer is now set up and ready to use. So let's now move on to setting it up on a Mac. As with the Windows setup, you want to make sure that you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network on your router. And the easiest way to do this is to click on this little Wi-Fi symbol on the top right hand corner of your screen and under your available networks you'll notice two networks with very similar names. One will probably have the name 5G next to it as you can see here. I'm going to select the one that doesn't and this is my 2.4 gigahertz network. So click on that and connect to it. So to set the printer up on a Mac you want to go into your app store and the easiest way to find your app App Store is to go into your launchpad, which should be at the bottom left hand corner of your dock. Click launchpad and then look for the App Store icon. Click on App Store and once the App Store app opens up, go into the top left hand corner to the search bar and search for HP Smart and select the HP Smart for desktop option. Click on that and click get to begin installing and give it a few seconds. And once it finishes installing, click open. On the next screen that opens up, click continue. And then it asks you whether you'd like to share usage data. This is entirely up to you. I'm gonna click no for now. And on the screen that follows, it gives you two options, set up a new printer or sign in. I'm gonna click skip for now because we're gonna do this from the home page of the app, which seems to work more reliably. So click skip for now. And then it takes you to the home page of the app. Click add printer to add a printer. So on the next page it has found all the printers in our immediate vicinity and the printer we're looking for in this case is the HP DeskJet 3700 series. Click set up then click continue and then it asks whether you'd like it to automatically access the password for your Wi-Fi network. Again as I mentioned in the Windows setup I don't recommend doing this. I recommend doing this manually so I recommend clicking no thanks 
and then enter your Wi-Fi password for your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Then click connect and then give it a few seconds to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And then it lets you know that it is now connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Then click continue. On the page that follows, click continue again. And then it asks you to either sign in to an HP account or create an account if you don't already have one. You can obviously skip this, but I don't recommend doing that. Now, in my case, I already have an HP account, so I'm just going to sign into it. But if you don't have one, feel free free to create an account and once you're signed in it lets you know that it is now transferring information from your account and on the page that follows it again tells you about the HP Instant Ink program click continue and then it asks you which HP Instant Ink plan you would prefer I'm going to click no instant ink for now and then click continue and then it asks you whether you're sure you don't want instant ink I'm going to click no I don't want instant ink and then it asks you a few surveys questions answer those and then click continue and then it also lets you know that you can print from other devices on your network and that it can also send you a link to do this so I'm going to click skip sending link and as a final step it reminds you to go into your print settings and add this printer to your list of printers to do this you want to go into the system preferences on your Mac then click on the printers and scanners icon to open up the printers and scanners menu and you'll notice on the left there's a list of printers that are already connected to this Mac and if this printer isn't already on the list click that plus button on the bottom left hand corner and then you'll notice that it lists a few printers that are available for installation we're looking for the HP DeskJet 3700 series click on that printer's name to select it leave all the other things as the default and then click add and then it says that it is setting up the HP DeskJet 3700 series and once it's done with that you'll notice that the printer has been added to your list of printers and now you want to jump back into the HP Smart app and click click continue and on the next page it gives you the option of printing a test page I highly recommend doing this to make sure your printer works correctly and once the test page prints you're brought back to the home page of the app where you'll notice that the printer has been installed and is now ready for use and this completes the installation of the printer on the Mac next let's jump onto an iPhone and I'll show you how to set it up using a mobile device to set the printer up using your your iPhone the first step is to go into your App Store and search for HP smart and once you find it tap get to begin downloading and installing it and once it's installed tap open it then asks you to agree to the terms and conditions tap continue and then it asks you whether you'd like to share data with HP smart I'm not gonna do this for now I'm just gonna tap no and then it asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer or sign in I'm gonna do neither I'm just going to tap skip for now and then it asks you for permission to find devices on your local network tap ok and once the home page of the app opens up you want to tap add your first printer and then it asks to use Bluetooth on your device tap ok and you'll notice that it's already found the printer that we're looking to add and then tap the add printer button all the way up top and then tap set up as a new printer and it now asks you to select the Wi-Fi network that you'd like to connect the printer to I'm gonna select mine again this has to be the 2.4 gigahertz network so tap that and enter the password for that network and then tap continue and then it says that the printer is found and it configures it and sets it up on the network and then it says that you should go into your Wi-Fi settings and change your Wi-Fi network back to your personal Wi-Fi network so let's go back into our Wi-Fi settings and you can actually see that the Wi-Fi network currently selected is the HP setup network which it selected on its own I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network or rather the Wi-Fi network to which this printer is connected okay so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network my home Wi-Fi network and I'm going to jump back into the app and then on the next page tap continue and then tap continue again and it asks you whether you'd like to sign in to your account or create a new HP account again as I said 
earlier, I highly recommend this step. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. But if you don't have one, I really recommend creating a new account. And once you're signed in, it takes you back into the app. Then it gives you a few messages about HP Instant Ink. And since I don't plan to sign up for HP Instant Ink, I'm just going to tap do not enable ink savings. And then it lets you know that you're ready to print from this mobile device. And you can print a test page if you'd like to. I'm just going to tap skip printing page. It then lets you know that you can print from other devices and that it can send you a link to do this. I'm going to skip this step. Then it asks me whether I'm sure and yes I am sure. And then it lets me know that the setup is complete. Tap all done and when you go back to the home page of the app you should see the HP DeskJet 3700 series and you should see that it is ready. And this indicates that it is now installed. And this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the HP DeskJet 3755. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.